I don't know whether to be happy or nervous that the Derby's <laughs> just 25 days away. I mean, do you know what you're wearing yet? Uh, do not worry. We have you covered this morning. Pink Julep Boutique is our countdown to Derby with Shady Race Spotlight this morning on Great Day Live. Lisa Maltese is the owner. She drove all the way up from Tampa to be on the show today. And I'm so happy to have you here because I think you have such a unique, wonderful style. Thank and you. you are speaking to all of our snowbirds out there yes. uh, that winter a lot in Florida, you can help them with so many things. But Absolutely. Uh, first of all, just tell me how uh, this all started for you. Uh, well, I founded Pink Julep six years ago. Which is in Prospect. Which is in Prospect. The original one. And yep. so it's a fairly large gift boutique, but we also have fashion. Yeah. So it was only natural that I started uh, designing the fascinators. And so I started designing them five years ago and I was just doing it for the boutique and then um, for you know all the clients there mm -hmm. and I relocated back to Tampa Bay which that's where I'm from and um, when I got there I was like hmm how am I gonna get my designs oh. to Kentucky yeah. you know back to the store and so I opened a little studio which my studio um, was actually just intended to uh, supply the hats to the store mm -hmm. so I was in Kentucky going, yes in Kentucky so I was going to design and ship them and you know figure all that out and before you know it everyone in the Tampa Bay area in my local town I'm on I'm in an old historic Main Street I'm district. I'm just happy looking at those palm trees right now. Yay! I know right I I know. Oh my goodness, with derby hats just inside that studio. That's crazy. And so that's I my view. Yeah. That is my view. Oh, and it. so I just, you know, uh, work with a lot of my clients in the Tampa Bay area and all over the country, really. Yeah, so. I feel like a whole other world has opened to you now that you're in Tampa, because not only do many folks in Kentucky mm -hmm. have homes down there, mm -hmm. but the derby scene mm -hmm. in Florida is huge, Lisa. It's crazy right now. You probably have a whole other business there now. I do. Yeah. I had absolutely no idea on how uh, big it would be in the yeah. Tampa Bay area. And so um, I, I found it a little odd that in February, the end of January, women were approaching me yes, for derby are. events. And so in Florida. In Florida. And so I was like, hmm. And so I have this little analogy I use for the Louisville area with our fascinators. I said, they're very much like a Christmas tree. The Christmas tree, you only bring it out max six mm -hmm. to eight weeks. I said, that's kind of how fascinators are in Kentucky. Yeah. But uh, Tampa Bay, they're just like, we're bringing them out year round. Hey, good for you and you love it and you do a yes. great job and you Thank brought some you. beautiful, unique designs for us. Thank do you, you want to start with kind of what you're wearing and, and the looks and the colors that you're seeing this year? And so I really like this. Uh, love the blue. This blue oh. that I uh, chose for the show. Classic. Um, it's very classic. It's linen. So it's a very nice, you mm -hmm. know, light flowy arms and so I just wanted to pop the blue and a nice white floral. I like big florals on my pieces yeah. and to make statements even with a smaller base. Yeah. I just like to really be impactful. All right, well, take us around and show us some other looks here. Actually, the camera will go right behind you here if you want to describe okay, what you have sure. behind us here. Okay, so these are more classic okay. uh, derby styles. You know, the color black and the red and the white is classic derby. It's going to be big this year, too. It's going to be huge. huge. And so a lot of the ladies are Look going at that. huge talk about with a their big flower. Yes. yes, with their statements. They're like, I want big and I want to make a statement. Um, I really love crinoline. Um, I think it mm -hmm. is bold, but it's soft and it's very feminine. So I do use a lot of crinoline in my designs. I do love to uh, texture my feathers and do all different fun things. And my absolute favorite thing that I try to fit in every single design, and it doesn't always work because yeah. my clients may be like, you know, I don't know, but the pheasant feathers. Yes, I love them. So More. pheasant feathers, I love them because they just demand your attention when you walk in a room. Mm -hmm. It's like just like what you're wearing that pheasant feather. I love this pheasant <laughs> feather and I love too because the colors and what you chose I walked in today wearing pink and mm -hmm. you knew to kind of pop these different elements together yes. in a contrast kind of way yep. without it overpowering you can see that without overpowering look at that pheasant feather. yes I love it I love it I absolutely <laughs> love it right it's gonna hold up no matter what the weather is exactly. also it's a beautiful look there to your left I just love yes. I mean that is set, both those one similar to what I'm wearing but the mm -hmm. other hat is so elegant 
Right, exactly. Oh, beautiful. And so, um, like I, um, well, I don't know if I mentioned, but a lot of my designs, I work closely with my clients. Yes. And they will send me their. Tell people how you mainly work. On uh, Facebook Messenger, <laughs> they send you on pictures email, of their dresses. texting. And yes. you like that. That yes, works. I do. Good. I like that. It's easy. Then uh -huh. I draft up some designs and I send it and we just take it from there. Match made in heaven. Yes. And they're just absolutely loving them. But a lot of these designs, like this one with the orchid, that's going to go with um, an eggplant colored, Ooh, a plum, plum colored that's dress. Already, somebody already has that one. Someone already has that somebody one. Somebody has most of everything behind us, by yes. the way. <laughs> <laughs> these are like sold yes. that yes. we're finding out. Pretty much. Still have uh, some left and I want to make people aware is if they're here in Louisville yes. where do we go in prospect to, to uh, find you pink jewel boutique off of 42 okay um, you know we have designs there and then in Florida you can actually go to uh, my studio which is in downtown Newport Ritchie uh -huh. and so you know but that's where I work from and I design everything and I ship all over and so you know a lot of my work is mm -hmm. done custom. And if you're not going to be at Derby, don't worry, because I'm sure there's tons of parties and events and Derby events yes. that we're going to be seeing a lot more of you down in that Tampa area. Oh, everywhere. absolutely. Absolutely. You are Derby South for us. Lisa. I'm Derby South. Derby South. I mean, it's Florida. crazy. Um, St. Petersburg, they've already reached out to me at the pier and uh, they wanted to include me this year to be a hat judge, but huh. unfortunately I already had plans, but I said next year. And so it's a charity yeah. and so I'm oh, really happy great. to the work with them. The is open to you. Thank you so much, Lisa. Yes. Thank you for Thank coming you. up. Thank you, oh, Claudia. this was fun. I, to learn more, to start sending your dresses to Lisa, right? <laughs> yes, you exactly. You need to get busy on these things. <laughs> uh, just go to pink-julep.com.